keep my mind stand on Jesus. Lord, keep my mind stand on Jesus. Lord, keep my mind stand on Jesus. Lord, keep me stand on the Lord. Well, I woke up with my mind stand on Jesus. Woke up with my mind stand on Jesus. Woke up with my mind stand on Jesus. Woke up with my mind on the Lord. Well, Lord, keep my mind stand on Jesus. Lord, keep my mind stand on Jesus. Lord, keep my mind stand on Jesus. Lord, keep me stand on the Lord. Let us bow in prayer. Father God, we thank you for how you bless us to be here on this morning for another morning worship. We thank you for the saints of God that have taken out time out of their schedule to be with us, even in the sanctuary. Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for those over the airways. Now we just ask your anointing and your power to be with us. Oh, God, that we may move forward to do thy will. In Jesus' name, let us all say amen. 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 We bring you greetings this morning from the Kingston Road Church of our Lord Jesus Christ, where I'm the pastor, District Elder Charles Pollock. We thank God for my wife, Cheryl, that works with us in the ministry and all the ministers that work with us. We thank the Lord for a wonderful Sunday school this morning from uh, Minister Billy Johnson, how he came forth with a wonderful Sunday school, talking about how God will supply all of our needs. And we're also still thanking the Lord for Minister CJ from last Sunday coming forth with the Sunday school. And we're just looking for the Lord to continue to take all of us higher. Amen. On today, we just thank God for how he blessed us even with what's all going on in the world, how he's just keeping us, amen, with our mind stead on him. At this time, we ask you to notice for our scripture reading from Philippians, the second chapter, verses 5 through 13, and also for Ephesians, the second chapter, verses 8 through 10. Again, while you're turning, we thank God for you that are here with us, and we want to announce that we will be fully back open nothing changes the second Sunday in July. Praise the God. second Sunday in July, we want to start back having Sunday school and morning worship here. Amen. And we want to continue to come to you through Facebook because we found this to be a great avenue for us as we continue to do ministry for the Lord. Amen. And we are asking all of our ministers to get their, uh, their sword sharp that they may bring forth a word because we want to hear from the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. And our, our senior minister, I know he's going to be guiding me. He said, I'm not going to probably speak, but I'll be there, Pastor, making sure everything go well. And we thank God for Minister Bolt Knight in a special way. Philippians, the second chapter, verses 5 through 13, if you have it. We're going to read thusly and also from Ephesians, the second chapter, verses 8 through 10. Philippians 2, 5. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God also have highly exalted him, and giving him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do his good will. Philippians second chapter. Excuse me. 
Ephesians second chapter, eight through ten. Ephesians second chapter, eight through ten. Paul is still the writer. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves; it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. The word of God for the people of God, help me say thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Amen. Now, top it on today, if you will. Keep your mind stead on Jesus. Keep your mind stead on Jesus. Subtopic on today, work it out. Work it out. Keep your mind stead on Jesus. Subtopic, work it out. Amen. We want God to work it out in our life. God is doing great things. And I want you to know God is working it out. I would be remiss not to say about some of the trying things that we are going through on today. We are living in trying times and these trying times sometimes have reshaped some people mind that's why i came forth on today to try to encourage you to keep your mind stead on jesus uh, the enemy would love to walk our mind and to make us think that things are not going to work out but i want you to know in god everything will work out i found out through the scripture Amen. The writer from the book of Psalms says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen. In the midst of racial injustice, we are still fearfully and wonderfully made. And I, I looked at that scripture and I said, Lord, what does that really mean that we are fearfully and wonderfully made? And I, I began to find out that it meant that if you're fearfully made, that uh, whoever made us you better not mess with them. Whoever did this, whoever put this together, yes. you better not mess with them. And also, whoever put this together deserve to be worshipped. So we are not only fearfully, we are beautifully yes. and wonderfully made. Also, when we keep our mind on Jesus and we're trying to work it out, the Lord wants us to know, amen, through the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, he said, and the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which I command thee this day to observe and to do. God has a plan for us. God wants us, his children, his creation to succeed. And he has a plan. God, from the beginning of time, had a plan for his people. Amen. God wants us to know that he's always by our side. Yeah. He's our very present help, even in the time of trouble. Yeah. He said, I'll come to your need. I'll be your source. Yeah. Amen. I'm so glad I found the Lord in due time. I hear the word of God from Hebrews, the 13th chapter. He said he'll make you perfect in every good work to do his will. Uh, sometimes we feel like we are imperfect. But after we get through the day, I want you to know that you are perfect because of Christ. And ourselves, we are nothing. But because of Christ, Christ came to make us perfect. Christ came to turn our situations around. And I'm so glad about it. Jesus is my Lord. Not fear, not doubt, not hurt for words. For sometimes people just want to cut you down and make you feel like you are insignificant. Make you feel like you haven't succeeded, even though that you know that you've accomplished some things. Even though that you know you have walked the walk and talked the talk. Even after you get to that place in your life, they want to make you feel like you're nobody. But I'm so glad God made me somebody. Amen. I don't walk in fear. I walk in promise that God said he'll be by my side. God told me he'll work it out. God told me he'll never leave me, neither will he forsake me. So I have to encourage you on today, saints of God, let's walk like we are saved. Let's walk like we are somebody. God made us somebody, and we need to walk and do the work of the Lord. Amen. I want you to speak to your fears. Amen. Speak to your doubts. Speak to all the naysayers. I will trust in the Lord. 
I will trust in the Lord until I die. That's an old song. Now, you've been around a while. You know that song. But if you hadn't been a while, for the, for the young people, I want to encourage you. Amen. Trust in the Lord. And you, they used to sing and moan and even rock to the left and to the right. The old mothers, I will trust. But they were singing from their heart because they knew the things God had brought them through. They knew the times they didn't have food on their table. God showed up. They knew the time they didn't have money to buy medicine. God showed up. They knew the time it looked like they were left by themselves. God showed up. And I want you to know he's that same God on today. And he'll show up just when you need it most. But we got to learn to let go and let God. Amen. Fall into the lap of God. I used to give an example sometime and I would preach about trusting in the Lord. And I would have a little brother to stand in front of me. And I said, I want you to fall backwards. Yeah. And when he get ready to fall, I want him to know I'm going to catch him. But every now and then, before he went to fall, he would turn around and make sure I had him. Amen. But I want you to know God got you on today. We can put our trust in God. He said, I'll never leave you, neither will I forsake you. God is just that kind of God. He wants to work it out for us. You know, but sometimes we think that we can work it out. And that's when he'll back up and say, okay, if you got it, I'm going to leave it alone. But when we learn to give it to God, God said, I got this. Amen. Now you, I just, you've done what I told you to do. Amen. Now wait on me and watch me show up. Oh, I got some witnesses in the house. Some people have been waiting a long time. Amen. But when God showed up, he showed up and he showed up. Amen. It's so sweet. To, I hear the old people saying to trust in Jesus. Why is it so sweet to trust in Jesus? Because you're waiting on it. Amen. When God bought it to pass, anybody ever waiting on the grandma or mama to cook a cake? Amen. While they were cooking, they, every now and then they'll give you a little something to let you know it's coming after a while. They'll give you the spoon that they were stirring it with, and they'll let you lick on the spoon. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Amen. It tasted so good, and you couldn't wait till that pound cake got through cooking because the whole house was smelling like it. And when you ate it and got a little chunk of it when it was hot, oh, wasn't it good? But you learned how to wait. God wants us to wait on the Lord. Amen. Keep your mind on Jesus. God will work it out. And God wants us to work it out. I want to talk about this word work. This term makes some young people and old people cringe. Why? They look at work as punishment. In slavery times, when a slave would act up or would uh, do something that the Master didn't like, they'll give them a hard assignment. And sometimes they would whip them while they worked. So it was uh, incumbent upon us when we got some of those genes that we saw work in the same way. We thought it as punishment. Even in the military, I've seen it and I've heard about how new enlisted people, when they would get into the military and when they would do something wrong or make a mistake, uh, the, their son and their peers would make them move a pile of dirt from one spot to the next spot. And then when they get through doing that, they'll tell them to move it back now to the other spot. Make them do work that seemed unnecessary. And so we came to understand work to be punishment. But this is something that we need to reteach. We need to reteach that work is a part of life. Work has rewards. You can't get a reward if you don't work. You want to see a sorry child, amen, that's normal, or uh, that child that the parent never let do anything because they never learned how to develop. They never learned how to develop their muscles. They weren't good in sports because they never learned how. And they, they weren't good in relationship because they didn't work with relationship. And that's what sometimes higher education I found it to be. Uh, no, and I, I'm not down to anybody that don't have it. But if you work in the government, if you work on a job for any period of time, you had to learn how to get along with people. Uh, and some people say, no, let's let me stay by myself. And sometimes your salary going to stay by itself. But when you learn to work to get along with others, to be administrative in your duties, you'll find that God have better rewards for you. So I came on today to encourage you to work. God wants us to succeed, and it comes by work. In the scripture, it tells us how we need to continue to keep our mind stead on Jesus. Ephesians 2 and 10 again, it says, for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works. He didn't create us to do any kind of work. He created us to do good works. 
There's a lot of people doing the rioting that had been going on. They was out there working, but they weren't doing good work. They was trying to tear down our good name. We got to stop tearing down our good name. We got to stop tearing down our society. Sometimes people don't mind you tearing down because you tear tearing down yourself. But I want to lift up. Amen, my group of people. I want to lift up, amen, the household of faith. I want to lift up my community. But we are his workmanship, again, Ephesians 2.10, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Uh, God hath ordained some things for us to walk in. God hath ordained for us to be, amen, a high official's on your job. God ordained it. And when God is there, ain't nothing the devil can do to stop it. Yeah, he can try to block it. But when God gets ready to move, he's going to move. He's going to open up a door. And if anybody ever asks you how you got there, you tell them God is there this door. God put my name on that door. God put that degree behind my name. It's God ordained. Somebody ought to be glad that you are God ordained today. I didn't get here by myself. I didn't go through all I went through because if Charles would have been in charge, I would have felt a long time ago. But there was times and somebody don't want to hear it, but I'm going to tell it anywhere. But there was times when I didn't want to go, God was still there. There was times when I would have done wrong, God wouldn't allow it. Somebody ought to be praising God for being your helper in the time of need. God ordained your destiny. God have you here on the day. I've heard some of your testimonies, how God made a way for you. You didn't know if you was going to ever, amen, be able to excel above where you were. But look at God. You weren't able to go, go ever be to excel above where you lived. But look at God. You didn't know that your family was going to keep rising. But look at God. God is a very present help in the time of trouble. Keep your mind stead on Jesus. No matter what's going on in the world, keep your mind on Jesus. I found out that he's my helper. Yeah, there's other people that have it sell without Jesus. But I want you to know he's my helper. I don't know where your help comes from, but Jesus is my helper. He's my very present help. Even in the time of trouble, God knows how to show up. God knows how to bring it to pass. God is working it out right now. Right now, when we don't know how things are going to happen, God is working it out. When we don't know what the next door is going to open, God is working it out. And I'm so glad he's that kind of God. He knows just what we need, and he knows how to bring it to pass. Amen. Let go and let God. And the scripture, amen, tells us from Philippians, let this man be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Jesus worked, and he's still working. Uh, Jesus worked, and he is still working. When I thought about that scripture, Amen. I said, how is he still working? Romans 8.34 came to mind. says, who is he that condemned? It is Christ that died. Yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us. Yes. Jesus Christ did not only work while he was here, did not put out an assignment when he was here, did not only teach the disciples when he was here, but he's still working it out in your and my life. Every time I think about this, how he's at the uh, at the seat of our Lord, our, our Father God, and every time the enemy brings up a railing accusation against us, amen, he said to the Father, charge it to me. He's he making intercession for us. He's right there. You know what, how we should have failed. You know the things that we, you and I have been through and the times that we didn't do what we should have done. Amen. Jesus Christ was there. Amen. Taking the stripes for us. By his stripes, uh, we are healed. Uh, somebody ought to praise God on today that he's still taking it for us. Uh, he's still at the seat knowing that we have what we need because he want to see us make it. God is good on today. Amen. Now that Christ has gone, the Apostle Paul wrote in Romans. Amen. And he wrote in Philippians. Now he's telling us to work. He's telling us to work. Work out our own soul salvation with fear and trembling. I want you to know we are living in a 
lackadaisical society. Mm -hmm. People don't want to work anymore. People don't want to work on the job. Uh, yes, I, if I was getting unemployment, I'd rather get unemployment and the extra $600 too. Amen. I can understand that. I can feel that pain. But you know, one day it's going to come to an end and we're going to have to go back to work. But while we are getting it, we're going to enjoy and we're going to take care of some things. But we know that we're going to have to go back to work. We have to override the stubbornness not to work. Yes, it's stubbornness when we don't want to work. Well, we don't want to get up out of our bed. It's a stubborn feeling. We say, I ain't ready to move. I wish I had a witness. Especially if you don't have nowhere to go. It's Saturday. You don't work Monday through Friday. It's Saturday. And I don't have nowhere to go. I don't think I'm ready to get up. But we have to work through that, that we might be blessed. God has placed in us something called a will. He's given us the will to live. He's placed that in every man. And so we have to override those things that fight the will of God. Yes, yes the enemy come to kill, steal, and destroy. Jesus said, I put something in you that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. Amen. God wants us to have the good pleasure of enjoying what it is to work. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the thoughts that I have towards you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. God's will is for us to prosper. God's will is for you to get a raise. God's will is for you to get a promotion. God's will is for you to keep, amen, moving until you get to the place that you and him feel secure where you are. It's God's will. 3 John 1 and 2, it says, Beloved, I wish above all things yeah. that thou mayest prosper and be in good health, even as thy soul prospers. God wants us to prosper. God wants us to be in good health. And you got to make yourself do those things to be successful. You got to make yourself walk and that you might be in good health. I wish I had a witness. You got to make yourself put one foot in front of the other. You got to make yourself go to the gym. You got to make yourself not eat a big meal every day. Every now and then, you got to push it back. Oh, I wish I had some fastness in the house. Somebody know what I'm talking about. Amen. Somebody know what it's like to say, I'm going to leave this alone for right now because I want something from God. Lord, I, you said that you would supply my need. You said it's your goodwill that I prosper. Amen. God said, keep your mind on Jesus and work it out. We got to work it out on today. God wants us to work it out. As we have journeyed through this pandemic, and most recently through the wrongful death of George Floyd, many times people have uh, wondered, where is God? I want you to know God is still on the throne. Amen. And I came to encourage you to keep your mind stead on Jesus. It's man's picture of uh, what they want some of us to be that they trying to portray. And this is why they allow some of this stuff to go on and even try to promote it, the rioting, that we all may try to look bad. As I look at the period of Reconstruction, when the uh, African Americans were blessed after the period of slavery to be in some of the congressional seats, some of the Senate seats. I don't know if you know it or not, but they put pictures and cartoons and even wrote historical books that's still on record that have us sitting there in those houses with our feet on the table, eating fried chicken, uh, drinking liquor. That's what they want us to think that we are. But I, I came to tell the devil he's a liar and a father of it. Amen. I came here to tell somebody, amen, tell the people of God to keep your mind stead on Jesus. Don't worry about what image people are trying to put yeah. on you. You know who you are. And you know God came to set us free. He came to make us the head and not the tail, as I read in Scripture. He came to make us the lenders and not the borrowers. I will not let what society say about me define me. Right. Amen. I got my definition from God. God made me somebody. And God made you somebody. We are bound to by God, and we are and we are free to walk in Him. 
Why I say I will abound? Because I hear Paul say I'm a slave to God. I'm not a slave to man. And when we are slave to God, we'll do what the master said. I said in Bible study on Wednesday night, amen, who's your master? Your master is the one you're serving. If the enemy can pull you to the left and pull you to the right and you don't know if you're coming or going, I want you to know you need to change dancing partners because the devil come to kill, steal, and destroy. He's going to keep on dancing with you till you get too far out there. You can't come back. But I'm so glad I serve a God that loved me enough, that didn't give up on me. He reached way down. He reached between the cracks and he began to pull me back. And I'm so glad to Hey, I got a new dancing partner. I wonder, can I get a Holy Ghost witness that know that God is able to set you free? If you first have a willing mind, oh, I hear the Lord of God speaking. This poor man cried, and God heard him. God will hear your cry. God will come to your rescue. Oh, all you got to do is just tell the Lord, Lord, I'm sorry. Lord, help me, Lord. I'm tired of being bound by the enemy. I want to be free in you. I hear the word of God saying, whoever the sun set free is free indeed. Yeah, you can go ahead and say, talk about me much as you please. But the more you talk, I'm going to bend my knees. I want you to know this and encourage somebody. Everybody got a record. Everybody got a record. Everybody got a record. We all are saved from something. If it ain't nothing but an evil mind. Amen. Let your mind be stayed on Jesus. Lord, keep my mind stayed on Jesus. Keep my mind stayed on Jesus. Because if the enemy can play in your mind long enough, he'll let it get in your heart. And it'll start working out in your memory. It'll start working out in your feet. And feet start going places that your heart told you to go. Uh, feet start doing things that a heart and mind told you to do. Hands start going out to places it shouldn't go. Mouth starts saying things it shouldn't say. I told the brothers at the church many years ago, amen, and I still believe it on today. Amen. You got to put up or shut up. When you when you talk too much and you don't say you're going to do all this and got big and bad, and then sometimes we get so caught out there, we done said it, then we got to go through Oh, I done said it, Lord, here I go. Amen. But if you don't say it, you ain't got to worry about it. Amen. So let it go. Everything like the world, let it go. Women too, let it go. Amen. Because the enemy, sometimes we talk to the men, don't talk to the women. But all of us got issues. All of us got problems. As long as you in this flesh, you're going to have a fight. Oh, somebody need to know what I'm talking about. Your fight may not be my fight. And when you're, when you're young, you have fights with the flesh. A lot of times, when you get older, you have other fights. You have fights with personalities. You have fights with trying to reclaim your youth. Amen. It's bad to see a man try to be uh, young and he's old. Amen. It's bad to see those things. Why? Because you can't go backwards. God have now educated you. Now you a teacher. Now you are a person that can share knowledge and tell somebody where you come from and let them know you can make this journey, baby. Amen. Amen. I've been through that. Oh, I wish I had somebody to tell. Tell your neighbor you've been through that. Don't breathe too hard on that. Amen. But then let them know uh, I've been through that. Uh, amen. I can tell you how you can make it. Uh, how you can make it, keep your mind stayed on Jesus. No matter how far you drift. Uh, amen. Say, Lord, I need you. Oh, I wish I had a witness. Uh, out there in the street, uh, amen, trying to sell dope, uh, even smoking a little dope, uh, amen, but I kept paying my tithes yeah. while my mind was staying on Jesus, yeah. and I know I was doing wrong, but I knew what was right. I got some witnesses in the house. Uh, you know that sometimes uh, you were doing wrong, but that didn't mean that you didn't know what it was to do right. Uh, God got somebody on today, uh, amen, is calling out for somebody. He's got his, he's got his fishing rod out, uh, and he's trying to reach out uh, and draw somebody in. It may not be you here on the day, but I hope somebody still in the audience can hear. Amen. God is reaching out for somebody. He wants somebody to be saved. He wants somebody to know if you keep your mind stared on Jesus, amen, things will work out. He said, I'm working it out. I'm working it out. Amen. Here in America, when we are up against so many obstacles, us as African Americans, I want you to know God is working it out. But don't you get misplaced and think that you're the only one up against it. There are some people that's not our skin color. 
up against some of the same thing. Money talks. Money talks. If you don't have enough money, they put you on the sideline. No matter what color your skin. Amen. They'll throw you away. But I'm so glad we serve a God that never throwed us away. These poor people. Oh, I wish I had some witness. If the disciples was here on the day, they'll be my witness. I was just a fisherman, one of them said. But look at God. Now have me an apostle. Watch out, Peter. Amen. Watch out, James. Got you the head of the church. Got thousands upon thousands of people following you. And all you were was a fisherman. Look at God turn things around. Watch God come into your life. Watch out, Apostle Paul. Amen. Going out killing God's people. But God made him the head of the Gentile church. You don't know yet what God got for you. Yeah. But if you stay with God, uh, keep your mind stand on Jesus, God is working it out. Uh, God will make you uh, take you from the janitor to the head of the corporation. Uh, take you from just being a, a man, a, a pencil pusher to the administrator of the school body. God can do it on the day. God is able to do anything but fail. Amen. Now we got to just put our trust in the Lord. Amen. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Say, Lord, I'm sorry. Amen. If you've done wrong, Lord, help pull me. Help pull me a sinner. Let me, uh, amen, be like that, uh, that publican. Amen. He said, Lord, help me. While the Pharisee was just bragging, Lord, I've done all this. I paid my tithes. Yes, I've helped all these other people. And the polar publican, when he came up to, amen, to the to the honor of the one that was making the decisions on what needs to be done. He said, Lord, help me. This little publican, he said, help me a sinner. And God, Jesus, amen, using Jesus to give that parable, he said, who went down to the house more justified? And it was the publican. God looking for somebody with a broken heart. Amen. Just want to make a change and just want to be better. Anybody want to be better? Anybody want to go harder? Amen. Want to go higher? Oh, I came to encourage you on today. Keep your mind stead on Jesus and work. Work while it's day. Scripture said, "Go night won't come and no man can work. Amen. I'm working for Jesus every night and every day. I'm working for Jesus. And whatever's right, I know he'll pay. Isn't it wonderful? Amen. He don't mess up on your time. Amen. Man will mess up on your time. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Amen. Amen. Sometimes you think you get a check with a whole lot of zeros and all you got is one zero. You say somebody done something wrong. Amen. We need to regroup. We need to go back to the drawing board. Amen. You know when you didn't get the right pay. Amen. You know when things didn't go right. Amen. But God always pays right. And I'm, I'm so glad he's fair. He's paid. He's I'm going to pay every man according as his work shall be. I want to encourage you to keep working. Amen. It looked like your, your reward hadn't got here yet, but keep working. Amen. God, he, he knows how to back up pay. Amen. When he brings things up, whoosh, everything come at once. Amen. You begin to look around, and you start singing that song all by yourself in the car dealership. What a matter. God, we serve. Oh, I wish I had a witness. Amen. You remember when things weren't going well, and all of a sudden things worked out. Amen. You can almost sing to yourself. You didn't need a choir. You didn't need no backup. God worked it out. And he's still working it out for you. May God continue to bless you. Amen. Be encouraged in the Lord. Keep fighting the good fight of faith. Amen. God wants somebody to know he's working it out on your behalf. He's working it out on your behalf. Don't get sidetracked on what's going on in the world. We are in the world, but not of the world. Amen. And sometimes we have to participate in things that are going to help our group. Yes, but we just don't have to go too far. Amen. Amen. It's good to know that we as uh, people of the world, we are still in the world. And there are things that we need to do to have society to go smoother. So on, as I close, I don't know if I ever said this, but I want to say it today. Vote. Amen. Come Tuesday, vote. Amen. Vote. And make your conscience known. Amen. Vote your conscience. And as we continue to go forward this year, I want to encourage the saints of God. God gave us the power to vote. Amen. Well, I hear Jesus Christ. Amen. Saying, render unto Caesar those things that are Caesar. Render unto God those things that are God. 
You want you, you talk about people that don't want to go. I wish they come talk to me. Amen. Because I want to tell them. Amen. When Jesus Christ came into the world, the only reason Mary and Joseph was had to go back to their hometown because it was time for them to represent as citizens. Oh, I wish I had a Holy Ghost with me. Somebody need to know that the scripture is being fulfilled even on today. Don't let nobody back you in a corner like you don't know the word of God. The Bible says, study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman, here we go somebody, work. A workman need not be ashamed. Amen. Rightly divide in the word of truth. Amen. Work. God got a reward waiting on you if you work. Join us on tomorrow evening for our evening prayer. Amen. Amen. At 6 o'clock, uh, we ask the ministers, please uh, help us with that prayer. Amen. Uh, I'll be working every Monday night from now till August the 24th. So uh, if I can tune in on prayer, I'll be there, but I'll be at the hospital every night, Monday night. Amen. Monday night from uh, uh, 4 p.m. to 8 o'clock the next morning. So if I can tune in on prayer, I'll be there. But Wednesday night, we'll be with you in Bible study at 7 Amen. Those that can, we ask you to join us for prayer at 6.30 on Wednesday night and be back with us on Sunday. May God bless you. Looking forward to another beautiful Sunday school next Sunday. Amen. And also morning worship. Sunday school, 9.30, 10 o'clock morning worship. Looking to be fully in the church. Amen. On the second Sunday of July. Amen. Pray our strength in the Lord as we close in with this song. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord till I Stay on the 